Start recording. Boop a doop. And it is time for a game that was supposed to come out, I think, twice in the last year and then got delayed both times. Uh, I've been waiting for it because I never actually played this. I played like one hour of the original version and I got really tired of I didn't get tired of it. I just didn't have the patience for it at the time. And I remember watching my brother play the whole game and I'm definitely down to visit it myself now, especially with uh, as much as they've added to it. So, uh, this is Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition, which, oops, I'm hitting the B button because I'm used to pressing the B button for Sonic Adventure. Um, this game's kind of gotten a lot of ire over the last, uh, over the last, uh, couple weeks due to a bunch of bad features it's got. So the online play is region locked, there's no local multiplayer, and, uh, apparently the online multiplayer only progresses for the player... For the host, not the rest of the characters, so... People are a little upset about that. Even though that's close to how it was originally, I definitely think they should have fixed it. But whatever, we're not here to bash it, we're here to enjoy it. I think this game was supposed to come out, like, at the beginning of this year? Or was it supposed to come out, like... It was supposed to come out, like, end of last year or something, and then it got pushed to beginning of this year, and then it got pushed again to just now. Just uh, literally an hour and a half ago. Game supports autosaving. Please not turn off the power or quit the game while the autosave icon is displayed at the top of the screen. Got it. Let me close Steam, too. Maybe that'll help a bit. Uh, oh, title screen's up already. Transfer data. Save data on the Nintendo Switch can be uploaded and migrated from one system to another. Please read the data migration warning before... Ugh, no. I will not be playing this on other uh, systems. Add-on content cannot be transferred. Therefore, any related content will not be available. Use of add-on requires the add-on to be purchased on that platform. What a shock, Square. Come on. Do you be available if transferring it to account has purchased the content? Data will remain on the original system as well. Downloading save data will overwrite all existing saves, even if the original... Si what the fuck? So this isn't even like... It's you're not even transferring like... Specific data. You're just transferring, like, your entire save, uh, save file. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be doing any of that. I don't think I'm gonna be playing this on another console. Uh, add-on content. There's a bunch of expensive DLC that no one really wants. I might get the weapons, uh, but not now. Might do that later. Oh, God, really? Yeah, no. We'll be skipping both of those. Square's gotten a little weird with stuff lately. They get very, uh... Very into the copyrights and the, uh, usage rights and the you can't do this, you can't do that. The worst is, uh, when you get stream keys from them, apparently. They require you to thank them every few seconds. Minutes, but whatever. Who's counting? Of the stars on high that speak to me in secret sighs drifting on a breeze only I can feel and hear.
game looks nice. I mean, it definitely um, looks like a step up from the GameCube version, and that's that's point of it being remastered, I guess. Oh, wow, I peeked there. Okay. Not... Ooh, that skip right there wasn't good. I'm not a huge fan of the redo of this theme song. They were kind of promoting the fact that they re-recorded it with the original singer, and it's like... It sound The music sounds great, but I feel like the lyrics are kind of like being... Like, the, she's running out of energy while she's singing, and it's, it sounds kind of kind of weird. I prefer the original one because it's closer to the beat of the song. Yeah, that redo of the song, I mean, it's a great song, but that redo is definitely slower paced while the song is still the same tempo, so it, it kind of comes off weird. Enter a name to display during online play. It is possible to change the name later. All save slots share this name. Square, come on. Again, I keep hitting B to uh, progress, because I'm just used to that from Sonic. Only be seven letters, right? No, 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 no. I don't want to fucking. Whatever. Zyre. Come, let us record your adventures in this journal. It shall be known as the Crystal Chronicles. But first, we must know the name of your hometown. And those five digits on the back of your credit card. Three digits, excuse me. The 16 digits on the front and the three digits on the back. Tipa. Uh, let's do something like a bird town. I don't know. I did bird, no birdison for Animal Crossing, which I still play every day. Ugh. Let me tell you, that game is, uh, it's become more of a chore than something I enjoy at this point. No, two, uh, two letters short. Why is it only seven letters, man? Come on. Burton. That sounds stupid as fuck. Birdville. Tipa, Birdville. That's fine. I'm gonna have to change my name uh, as soon as possible. Dawn, the morning of my departure was here at last. I tried to brace myself for the journey ahead. There was a field among the main road where I decided to camp until sunrise. Tomorrow I set out in search of Murr. Murray Purry. Furry story. You have to collect drops of Murr from lands far and wide to keep your crystal glowing. Ugh. Q 
choose another character or make a new one. You'll need a strong party to help you run your caravan on your adventure. Choose up to eight members from the four tribes. Build your caravan. Clavat, a tribe of warmth. The Clavat seek unity and friendship above all else. They are down to earth, peaceful, and see all others as friends, no matter their background. L Lilti, a proud warrior tribe steeped in tradition. The Liltis once ruled the continent. Though hot headed, their frank nature makes them admirable merchants. Yuk, or UK. A soft-spoken tribe of wisdom and research, the Yuks magic once used magic to resist the might of the Liltis. Their otherworldly physical forms are said to simply be souls that augment their magical abilities. They have cone boobs. Selkie, a tribe of individualists, the Selkies clothe themselves in fur and stolen goods. Their almost primal agility has led many Selkies to take up a life of brigandry and thievery. Uh, I forgot that you had to make multiple characters for this game. Character creation. Well, I am definitely going with Yuke for the main one, because bird. Male. Black Mage. Sky Ship. One Horn. Bumpy. I kind of like Longbeak, honestly. The Black Mage does kind of match me better. Sky Ship also looks really nice. Yeah, we'll go Long Beak. Select a voice. All oh, right, there are voices in this version which weren't in the original. Fire, blizzard. Fire, blizzard. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the one. Select home job. Blacksmith, tailor, farmer, rancher, miller, fisher, merchant, alchemist. Ooh. I forget what this does. Let's go alchemist, just because I like the, uh, the idea of that. Character creation. Uh, this will be me. Without a doubt. Use this character? You can still edit. I exist! So proud of you, Zai. Today you set out with the Crystal Caravan. I'll be worrying about you. Do be careful out there. I'll never forgive myself if you get hurt. <laughs> Send us any materials that might be useful for our research. I can't wait to see what you find. Yeah. Is it? Is traveling fun? You have to tell me all about it when you get back. <laughs> May you return with a chalice full of myrrh. We believe in you, Zai. Send me off with nothing. Zai, the alchemist's son, is sent off by his father, Elgov, or Elgov, and his mother, Ardain, his brother, Sabiha, Sebegius, and his brother, Heinrier. I think you could play through the game with just one character, I'm not sure. Try moving your caravan with L. Event. Moogle. First one of the game. Hail, fellow caravaner. You are the caravan from that village, are you not? Yes, I'm from that village. I heard they were sending out a new caravan. You seem quite capable. My name is Soul Rock. 
I am captain of the caravan from the great fortress at Alphataria. Surely your name is not any way foreshadowing your fate. Our caravan boasts a history that stretches back thousands of years. But let us discuss that some other time. Stiltskin, do you have a moment? This is the village caravan. Come on, say hello. Allow me to introduce Stiltskin. He may not look it, but he is a seasoned adventurer. You don't say. Even we turn to him for counsel from time to time. Looks like his ear has seen better days. No, I'm just a Moogle that likes to get around. I learned all sorts of things in my travels before I knew it. I'm on my way somewhere right now, but I can teach you a thing or two if you like. Yeah, teach me because I haven't Are played you this setting before. Out all by yourself, Capo? Capo? You've got a lot on your shoulders, Capo. Capo. Let me carry the crystal chalice for you, Capo. Yes, a capital proposal. Let Mog help you. Yeah, sure, why well, not? Let's find a better spot. So glad they sent this kid out to get Murr and they didn't teach him anything about the world. If you want something to, if, yeah. Look, if you want to ask me something, come here and press the B button, okay? All right. Okay, so this, these both work. Oh, all right. So that's how this works. Interesting. do that. Alright, L and R switch the uh, the menu option. Oh, that... Okay, so X calls M Mog to do that. What's up? We want to know about the world. About the world. Miasma and crystals. Our world is covered in miasma. Sustained contact with miasma gradually drains your life away. Crystals protect us from the miasma. Towns big and small each maintain a crystal to hold it at bay. You see, crystals must be purified with myrrh once a year or they lose their brilliance. Crystal caravanners like you journey to seek out that myrrh. Drops of myrrh are gathered in the crystal chalice. The chalice not only carries myrrh, but also protects the caravan from miasma. The goal of your journey is to find myrrh trees all over the world. And, you guessed it, your path to the myrrh trees is blocked by hordes of monsters. You need to fill your chalice with myrrh before bringing it back to the village, but each tree yields only a tiny drop of myrrh at once. So you must find several myrrh trees in order to fill your chalice with myrrh. Saying myrrh a lot there. Once you draw myrrh from a tree, it could take as long as two years for it to replenish itself, so keep looking for other trees. Are you ready for the second step? Miasma streams and hot spots. Great torrents called the streams of miasma cut through the world, dividing it into sections. Each miasma stream possesses a certain element. To cross a stream and enter the lands beyond, you must change your crystal chalice's element to match that of the stream. There are four elements, fire, earth, water, and wind. If you're trying to cross a stream of fire, your chalice had better be a fire too. You can tell what your chalice's current element is by the color of its aura. So how do you change the chalice's element? Well you, can well, you can place the chalice on platforms called hotspots. Doing so will change the element of your chalice to that of that hotspot. Once your chalice's element matches that of the hotspot of the stream you want to cross, go ahead and rush through. Also, once you've drawn myrrh from a particular place, you can change your element by simply visiting that place again. Crystal moment changes to water. Alright. Just let you leave automatically. What's up? 
how to wield weapons. Select attack from the command list, press the A button to attack with your weapon. You can unleash combo attacks if you press A button repeatedly with the right timing. Focus attacks. Use focus attacks to defeat powerful enemies. Hold down the A button until you see a targeting ring appear. Move the ring with the buttons or the stick and line it up with an enemy. Release the A button and unleash your attack. Demo is out? No, the full game's out. This is the full game. Okay, that's enough. Well, that's all I have to say about using your weapon in combat. What's up? Okay, in order to cast spells, you have to add them to your command list. This list determines what the A button does. You can cycle through the actions on the list with the L and R buttons. Press the Y button to open the main menu, then, look at the, then open the command list. If you're already in a different submenu, press the L and R buttons to cycle to the one you want. Also, hey Toxic, how are you doing? Aside from the attack and the defense slots, you can customize with any magic site or items you like. So if you... Excuse me. So if you pick spells you want to cast, pick magis... Uh, magis site, whatever. Redo that one. If you pick up magic site while your command list has empty slots, its spell will automatically appear in the command list. Sleepy doing a quick peek. Well, you, can, you're, you won't get too much of this, don't worry. It won't spoil a lot. Once you're done, press the Y button again to close the main menu. Alright, let's give it a shot. You could cycle through different commands with the A button by pressing the L or R buttons. So press the L or R button until attack changes to fire. For casting spells, it's similar to unleashing focus attacks. Just hold down the A button and move the targeting ring beneath an enemy. Then release the A button. you about the spell fusion. When you fuse two different spells together on the command list, they create an entirely new spell. Let's try putting fire and blizzard next to each other on the command list, then selecting fuse. Once this is done, you could cast a spell called gravity. Cast the new spell you would like like any other. Select gravity with the L and R buttons, then hold down the A button and wait for the targeting ring to appear. Finally, select your target with the plus control pad and release with the A button. Blizzard, fire. Fuse, gravity, how do I do that? How do I actually... F f spell fusion, okay. How do I... wait. Oh, there it is, fuse is at the top. Okay, yeah, and you could split them back apart. Very useful. What? Uh, again, use the Sonic adv uh, Adventure controls here. You got it? Try using that in battle. That's all I have to say about casting magic in battle. By the way, any magic site you find will disappear once you leave its native area. Also, you could sometimes find urns full of water or oil. Throw one to spread its contents all over the floor. Oil can be ignited with fire, and water can be frozen with blizzard, or electrified with thunder. Handle with care, though. The urn traps you set can hurt you, too. I was gonna say harm, and then I said hurt. What's up? 
While adventuring alone, Mog will accompany you. He'll carry the Crystal Chalice for you while you're busy fighting monsters or carrying objects. To ask Mob to carry the Chalice, drop it and press the X button. And when he's carrying the Chalice, press the X button to have him drop it. You can also call him when he's close to you by holding down the X button. Mog, be sure to help Zai. going now. I see. You bet? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not bad. Check your diary when back on the world map? Yeah, sure. I mean, I mean, why not? I'm writing in it, right? Not far from the village, someone called to me. The man introduced himself as Solrot, leader of the caravan from Alphitaria. Alphitaria. It seems the news of my caravan had already reached them. They showed me much kindness, and a Moogle named Stiltskin gave me a lesson in combat. Adventuring console. Memories, one of 999. Papalpamus, a faithful beast of burden pulling along the caravan's goods. Smart and obedient, this indisposable companion ensures long journeys move smoothly. You're downloading it right now? Nice. I'm kind of confused that... W w why is this just... Okay. Latest entry. Alright. View friend data. Make new pals. You could check... Oh god, I gotta change my name. You could check your followers and who you followed. If two players mutually follow each other, they become friends and can invite each other to games online. Accepting an invite lets you play online regardless of where your caravan is on the world map. Some dungeons have special requirements to enter. Set a profile. You can set a name and add a quick headline that other people will see. Okay. Player name and apply. Headline applies to all spots. So that's... Blah, 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 blah. I could put M2, like I do on my main uh, menu, but I'm not going to do that. Name unavailable? Excuse me? Excuse the fuck me? Alright, what character in this game has my name? That it's I can't choose that name. I can do ZA, can't do ZAI for some reason. That's weird. I'm not I'm none too happy about that. Let's just put MM for Michael McCaw. Let's be friends. Completionist. New character. Seek it. Let's play hard. I'm a vet. I've just set out. Well, not a lot of options here, huh?
How do you actually get friends here? Do you have to join the thing first? If two players mutually follow each other, become friends, and can invite each other to games online. But yet it doesn't run off the Switch, uh... The Switch thing. So... Why bother? Set out together. You can recruit party members to help you. You could join party members who are already gathered. Jump into a dungeon in progress. And that's why they don't allow uh, progression to be made. When playing with others, Mog won't be around, and you can't fuse commands by spells by commandless. Spell fusion requires party members to work together. Magic time will appear when your targeting rings overlap. Use your magic at the same time to fuse your spells. Warning, you will be temporarily restricted from joining lobbies if you disconnect during t online play too often. In order to collect drops of murder, you'll need to create your own lobby. Dungeons with unlock conditions require all party members to meet those conditions. Party members who can't get to some dungeons will be able to access those dungeons by playing with friends. Uh, cool. When playing online, all the lobby creator can get new diary entries, letter drops, or murder. If the player, this may, these may be lost if the player loses connection. Alright, what is what it is. I used to love this game as a kid. I never actually played it. I played it for like an hour, and then, uh... I never touched it again. My brother played the whole thing and I watched him play it. At least they have the option to just jump into the game immediately. This is cool, and it tells you who's playing on Switch as well, so you know who's gonna be uh, who's gonna be the the, the 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 champs and who's gonna be the chumps. Like this Inaza person, Surge, chumps, not playing on Switch. Oh, wow. you could like see their uh, things and everything. That's that's cool. I like that. Let's not, uh, fuck around here. I'm not gonna bother with this right now. Right, options. Yep, keep these up. Keep that, that, yep. All good. Battle ops, position marker, on. Minimap, on. Chats. Alright, it's just a bunch of, uh, preset shit. Thunder, Cure, Blizzard, Clear, Raise, Fire. I think that's all of the elements. Other. Display name, character, or player. We'll do character. Invite notifications, cross-platform, play, on. Cool, we'll just leave it like that. Letters, family. I don't know if I have anything yet. No, I don't. Father, mother. Oh, you get... Oh, right, there's like relationships. Diary, friends, so friends is- oh, set out. Set out together, save load. Okay, we didn't save yet, so let's do that now. We're in it. We're in it to win it. Uh, let's leave it like that. Actually, I don't think there's leveling up in this game, if I'm not mistaken. Open world map. The Miasma Streams. Year 1. Tipa Peninsula. Towns, Birdville, Port Birdville, River Bell Path. Check invite. I guess that's, uh, that ain't working, so... Birdville. Yeah, that's why I named it. It's Teepa by default, because it's the Teepa Peninsula. But I made myself a uke, so I have bird. Is bird. 
load times could be a little better, especially considering this is digital, but hey. What else do I got here? Oh, it doesn't actually let me move yet. Look how I, look how I run. I run like a little dandy boy. Hi there, Koopo. How can I help you? What's storage? You can use storage to store and retrieve items. Anyone from your caravan can take out the items you stored, Koopo. If you need to give someone something else, it's the way to go, Koopo. Magnet. And if you bought any add-on content, you can receive those items here, Koopo. I might get the add-on weapons just to have them. The, I don't give a shit about the costumes, though. Gil on hand. Gil on, oh, you could put money in there, too. Okay, nothing hidden there. I love this music. Sorry, nobody's home right now, Koopo. I think the town... Oh, actually, no, I think what it is is that there's eight houses and there's one for each uh, character you make. I like that the Moogles in this game just randomly fall down. It's really cute. Uh, yeah, I think there's one town for each job, if I'm not mistaken, like each profession. So I'm, I'm from the Alchemist's house, and then uh, there's the Fisherman's house and the uh, Blacksmith's house as well. It's just like Animal Crossing, only without the actual Animal Crossing part. Quite pleasant. Uh, you wouldn't think the world was filled with dangerous, disgusting miasma. Home and show us your smile once in a while. Be careful with all those monsters about. That's a uh, reflection. Technology. It really is cutting edge, so to speak. <laughs> hey, Zai, you be sure to watch out for monsters, alright? <laughs> Why? Why, welcome home. Mind your health while you're out on the road, you hear? Oh, you're home. You must have lots of stories to tell. No, I went out trained for a bit with the Moogle that sounds a lot like the dude I roomed with at Texas Furry Fiesta, and then I came back. We alchemists thrive on the pursuit of the unknown. Look at that. Look at that animal. That's a good animal. Alright, so there's nothing going on here. We can safely uh, leave this place behind. Until the year ends, at least. So we can go... We could start here, we could go all the way to the end. You know what, let's just... Oh, I can't. I'm actually not on the dungeon. Here we go. River Bell Path. Current element, water. Water and wind. Yeah, why not? 
Take on dungeons. You may adventure into dungeons in either single player or multiplayer. Choose which mode you would like to play before entering a dungeon. You may also choose to play multiplayer, viewing the set out option on the world map. Single, multi. Okay, cool. This is such a chill first dungeon theme. They say that wicked creatures prowl the road along this beautiful riverbank. But nobody's ever seen one. I once asked a man why. He simply replied, Because anybody who happens upon one is promptly eaten. But it is long since anyone has met such a fate. But or so they say. People take another route. Far away from the spooky old road. Only we walk the old way now. Travelers in crystal caravans. Gorgeous. Look at that flat texture. Prepare your command list. Bonus points. Defeat enemies with spell fusion. Stores HP based on your taste. Temporarily increases defense. Oh, interesting. Temporarily increases strength. Drink to recover HP. Focus attack. Power bomb. A gush of magic shockwaves. I think you get more commands as you go through the game. You get like uh, another four. Wait, wait, wait. We're done there. Okay, so there's auto saving, which is really nice. At least I don't have to worry about losing my file if I forget to save. Right, roundabout route, left scenic route. So the Oh, I see. Okay, so you can't uh, go that way the first time. I think once you've beaten the dungeon once, you unlock that. Plume of Phoenix down. Cool. Hey, you're online! Fire. Breath of Fire. What is this stuff to the... I guess it's all, uh... Automatically revives you when carried in a command slot. Well, let's remove that. Can you move the camera? No, you can't. It's fixed. I think I already have the water element. Okay, gotta get used to those menus. They're not, uh... <laughs> Crystal's element remains water. Yep. Teleport. So what does that do? Just exit the dungeon really quickly? It does. Okay. Don't I feel like a ding-dang fool now? BRB? Cool. Thought you, I didn't think you were going to stay up. It's, it's pretty late over there, ain't it? What time is it? Like 7 to 8 a.m.? They say that... Bonus points. Pick up money. 8, 17 a.m. Yikes. 
Alright, so teleporting just takes me out of the dungeon. What about spoils? Uh... Oh, yep, the spoils are still here. So that meat in the Phoenix Down still, car still carries over. It's just magic. Stone of Cure. Ooh, very good to have. Can I? F I can't fuse those. Stone of Cure. Oh, I think I'll put this here. Puzzles. Good. Bunch of rainbow grapes. Delicious. Delicious rainbow grapes. Wait, okay, temporarily increases magic. Can I? I thought having two cures let you uh, fuse into Kiraga, or do you need, um. I think you might need to, uh. have more. Uh, like you have to, you have to gain the ability to get higher level spells. So if I'm not mistaken, like, you could fuse two cures into, you could fuse, like, two things into gravity, and then you could fuse another two into gravity, and then fuse the two gravities into, uh, like, a higher level gravity. I, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah. Right, lots of monsters. Left, lots of monsters. Stone of Rays doesn't really help me in, uh, in single player, does it? Oop. Shit! I meant to move back quicker. Adventure had just begun, but Birdville would never see its caravan again. Of course, we're gonna continue. That was bullshit. I was woefully unprepared. Also, everything I picked up is still here. That's cool. Yeah, this game is uh, it's pretty generous. I'm gonna not gonna lie. In fact, all the monsters are still dead, too. Alright. I guess they kind of have to make it generous since it's a multi-character uh, game. And they kind of figure, you know, if you play with a party of four people, that's going to be a little hard to uh, justify blowing an entire raid. A 
obtain the artifact Man Eater. Interesting that the uh, chalice kind of the camera kind of focuses on Mog and not uh, and not the playable character. Stone of Cure. I don't think there's really a whole lot of point of changing the element here. Oh, Mog. Put the chalice down here. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. I don't think you get I don't think you get hurt if you stand like this, but uh, if you walk outside of the uh, the ring, you start taking damage pretty quickly too. see a map, huh? Oh, here we go. We can move the... Here, here's how you move the stuff. You have to be outside of the command list. That's why. Because it just kind of puts you there automatically. Okay. List your stuff. It automatically sorts it all, which is really nice. Drop and destroy. Key items. Artifacts. Man Eater. After completing the area, you could choose to keep one key item you obtained there. There are quite a lot of these. Mimic. Favorite. Star Carrot. Okay, that just shows you what you've eaten most of. And this is just the, the battle settings. Same stuff as before. Cool. Alright. I think that was the first amount of money I've gotten the entire game. of, um, it's kind of Fantasy Star Online-ish in a way, in how it plays, and I like that. That's another game I've been meaning to stream. Uh, Fantasy Star Online 1 and 2. Possibly Blue Burst. I know everyone should just, everyone, everyone's gonna say I should just play, uh, 2, but I, I don't know, I just wanna play the original. I, I'm, I'm, 2 is just such a huge game to get into, I, like, don't wanna bother. Maybe when Genesis comes out on Steam, or New Genesis, whatever it's called, New Mega Drive, I'll give it a shot, but... Uh, I don't see that happening right now. Vegetable seed. Designed for a bronze belt. Stone of Thunder. That makes gravity. Okay. Heavily damages certain targets and cripples flying foes. Strikes enemies vulnerable to lightning. Strike with a weapon to wake them. Ignites enemies vulnerable to fire, lowering their defense. Okay, cool. So it actually tells you what the, uh, what the specialty is there.
every enemy drops something. Arrives a fallen party member and restores four hearts worth of HP. I don't think that's really gonna make a great deal of difference right here. It doesn't cure me, even if I'm damaged, so... Very much something for multiplayer only. Nothing doing that way. Wait, I could go over here, though. Stone of Rays. with this, huh? Yeah. She could just put it down without throwing it. That's one way to take him out. Chunk of bronze. Out. Phoenix down. More blueprints. Novice's weapon. Bronze gloves. Glove. Alright. I really wish you could see a full map of this area. That'd be nice. Oh, never mind. You can just walk over here. It's a little clunky on purpose, and once you get used to it, it's really nice. It's purposely slower paced. It's just a shame about the region locking and the, uh, well, the progression thing I can kind of understand. But it is a shame about the region locking. It really does feel like they kind of went out of their way to sabotage that game, the game in that regard. Oh, there's switches right here. Okay. Cerrone's Gourd Potato. It's like slower pace, but you have to be on top of your shit, otherwise enemies will just overwhelm you. Silver Bracer. Eh. <laughs> ah. Oh, I fell on the floor. Uh, 
Well, hey, I got one, at least. Stone of Blizzard. Freeze his enemies, shatter them to do massive damage. Artifact Moogle Pocket. Is that like Sunfish Pocket? Because, uh, I could go for some maid service. Oh, I have five slots now. When did that happen? Oh, is it the Moogle Pocket, maybe? down, Orc Hammer. How do you see what you have? Like, I see I have four treasures here, but I don't know what they do. But clearly I have more uh, command slots now. Oh, you can make, oh, you can make Blizzard right off the bat. Cool. Can't make, uh, anything else, though. So any of the two elements together make gravity. Two of the same element will make a stronger element. Okay. House left old road dead end. That certainly is a dead end. Bronze armor. Oh, we can put our element back the way it was. Right, Moogle House left extreme danger, Koopo. Oh, a caravaner, Koopo. There's no Murtree here, Koopo. Sorry we can't offer you anything, Koopo. We just moved here, so we really have nothing to offer, Koopo. Koopo? Okay, Koopo. I don't think I made it past the first dungeon when I played this initially, and I don't know why. I feel like that what shouldn't have been too hard for me.
giant enemy crab. Flip it over and hit its weak point for massive damage. I'm sure everyone who's streamed this game has already made that joke. Okay. Ooh, there we go. That does damage. I think if Ma gets hit, he just gets stunned for a moment. Not sure, though. So get used to this boss thing, you're gonna be hearing it a lot. You're trying it? How'd you how are you liking it? Too excited. <laughs> That's not doing too well. Uh let's go back to doing this. Okay, so you could change your shit at will. Uh you don't have to. Too sleepy to play. Uh, I'm honestly not going to play too much of this. I'm probably going to go for like another 30 minutes to an hour and then I'm going to go to bed and stream more tomorrow. Only did the tutorial, yeah. I'm slowed, I'm not sure. Also, can I just say the soundtrack is amazing and it really holds up even uh, however many years later. 17? Drip that pee in there, please. Tree pee. I, this was the first soundtrack I ever burned to disc. I had my friend burn it to disc for me. It was really nice. Played it with your brother. I never actually played it with my brother. We never had enough of the um, cables to do it. But I did watch my brother play through most of the game. And then I gave up on it in the first dungeon because I was like, I'm not in the mood for this. But uh, after doing this, I've got to say, I am in the mood for more of this. I gotta figure out how I got that extra slot. I think that's an artifact that I had. New diary entry. Hail Mugu, let your service, Capo. 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 Here you go, Capo. It's a letter from Roland. Who the fuck is that? To our caravan. Did you buy the game? My brother had the game. My brother bought it. Or he didn't buy it. That was back when we had parent, well, our parents bought games for us, so uh, our, my mom bought it for him. Um, I, he still has it. And I also have... Uh, there's a magazine in America that used to be out called Nintendo Power. I actually have a shirt with the Crystal Chronicles logo on it from way back when. I still have it. I think I gave it to my brother because it's too small for me. Because I am a big boy now. I am the Borb. How is everything? You may be facing hardships that drag your spirits down. 
But always remember that the caravan gives us hope to us all. May you return safely, Zai. From Roland. Thank you, I'm fine. Don't reply. Thank you. Send item, send gill, send nothing. Send item. Send some rainbow grapes. Little stamp is cute. Your ply. At 9 o'clock in the morning. Read the letter once more. No. Okay, well, at least they... Don't keep me waiting, Koopo! I've got your reply, Koopo! So long, Koopo! Koop, Koop, Koopo. Bonus points. Pick up money. 88. Choose artifact. Gain another command slot. Magic plus one. Defense plus one. Strength plus one. Gain another command slot. Defense plus one. Magic. Well, let's do command slot. So artifacts you pick up affect you in that du- Woo! In that dungeon. And then once you beat it, you get to keep one. I wonder if I could just farm eight slots right at the beginning. River Bell Path. I found I wound my way through the vivid green hills and followed the path to reach the River Bell. All my tension seemed to flow away with the River Bell's serene currents. As I pressed onwards, I slew many goblins. I soon saw a rainbow over a great waterfall. Who could have known that I would fight the giant crab surrounded by such beauty? Dungeons and Towns. River Bell Path. Okay. Memories 2 of 999. First year. So it doesn't stop until you get three. The year doesn't advance until you get three uh, drops. Three little pee, pee drops. Have you heard of the Black Knight? They say he's on a journey to master the art of combat. The art of combat. Few these days ever set out to better themselves. You would do well to master something before your journey ends. Another new diary entry. Yeah, sure, why not? I wish the loading times were a little better. I saw the caravan from Alphataria today. The town, martial rumors, the town was already abuzz with talk of the Black Knight, but Sol had more tale tales, they had more tales to tell. Sol spoke with such enthusiasm that he actually seemed to admire him. It is astonishing how quickly word of the Black Knight is spread in spite of the way the miasma isolates every town. Oh, you can actually review the scenes, okay. I was like, what, what is the X button? What's view memory mean? Have you heard of the Black Knight? Oh, you can't skip this once you're, once you're in it. Do these days if you would screen the black knight okay so it sorts them by uh by uh, interest. I run into Amadati.
Amadati was my friend's favorite character. Can I save videos for this? Hold on. I can! Okay, cool. You lose a star carrot. Oh, I got robbed! I got burgled, purloined. I was robbed by the striped brigands. I had no idea it had happened, but when supper time came around, one of my favorites was missing. Well, I'm lucky that was all they took. Okay, they took a star carrot, and that was one of my favorites, so... I know, uh... I know what that means. Use those. Port Birdville. <laughs> Approaching exit to world map, okay. Gotta go. Alright, thank you for stopping by. Thanks for enjoying this, uh, this game with me. I'll definitely talk to you l later about it. Okay, so I guess you can only get one Moogle Pocket, which means that if I get another one, it doesn't take effect. Oh, my favorites are right here. Star Carrot. Feeling way too sleepy to stay. Hey, don't worry about it. I appreciate you coming by. I'm probably gonna stop in another 30 minutes. Holes in plain view. Let's hop right the fuck in. You're here for a Mog Stamp, right? That's right. Koopo, you don't have a stamp card. Let me tell you about Mog Stamps. We Moogles are found all over the world, Koopo. We offer Mog Stamps as an incentive to locate and visit all of our homes, Koopo. You'll need the stamp card to get Mog Stamps, Koopo. The stamp card has 23 squares, Koopo. They're divided into sets of 1 to 3 squares of matching colors, Koopo. And there are 9 different kinds of Mog Stamps, Koopo. Each Moogle will stamp 1 onto your card, Koopo. Match Mog Stamps for free Memory Crystal, Koopo. Memory Crystals let you mimic others, Koopo. Mimicking others lets you become someone else, Koopo. Pretty neat, huh? This isn't just a costume change, Koopo. You're totally transformed. You're them now, Koopo. Let me just, uh, grab that for, uh, posterity. Yeah, I got it. Okay, here's your first stamp. Get out there and find more, Koopo. Boop. Where am I? You're in my house, Koopo. I hear they call this place the Moogle's Nest, Koopo. You haven't matched up the Mog Stamp I gave you, Koopo. Good luck completing the set, Koopo. Paint. You could trim and color my hair, Koopo. Getting my cut and body paint right is really key, Koopo. Paint me a Vogue color, Koopo. If I'm red, I'm, I'll use flaming magic to match, Koopo. If my hair's too fluffy, I'll be really sluggish in hot places, Koopo. But if it's chilly and I've got short hair, I'll freeze up, Koopo. So I'd appreciate it if you think about where you're gonna go before you pick my hairstyle, Koopo. My hair keeps growing, Koopo, so I'll eventually go back to my regular look, Koopo. You could paint me and trim my hair again after that, Koopo. Did you get all that, Koopo? Oh god, that sounds... Looks good, Kupo. That sounds really weird. Alright, direct Mog. Okay, so this makes him turn. And he could fall over. Kupo. Uh, and you could do... 
Red, blue, and green. I don't know what green does. Maybe green does cure more? I know if you paint, if you use multiple colors, uh, it, it kind of adds everything evenly. Washing uh, gets rid of colors, and trimming trims down the hair. go. I'm sorry, Mog. It has to go. Already, Capo. Capo. All right, let's, uh, let's get some paint. Yeah, you can only do it in the fluffy parts. Oh, yes. Doll me up like a whore, Koopo. It's weird, like, it doesn't show up on all of his fur, even if you just, like, slam it around there. a thunder element, but I guess it's only uh, fire, ice, and healing. I think this is healing. I'm not sure. Remember, graffiti is art. Should be treated as such. Here, right here. You sure? You want some healing spray in your ear? Okay, trimming does eliminate what's there, so you gotta respray it afterwards. That's cool. Look at you. You look beautiful. New diary entry. Oh boy. I'm drowning in diary entries. something you want me to teach you all right come this way oh is this just gonna reenact the oh this is the same spot I was in this is the port uh, port birdville
Lots and lots of loading. Check invite. I guess it only works if you actually have an invite. I'm still... Why? Why is that unavailable? I visited. I visited. It. I visited a mule. A mule? What's a mule? True job. I visited a mule nest for the first time. The mule there cheerfully welcomed me into his home. When it was time to go, I thought he looked a bit sad. I patted the bonbon on his head and bade him farewell. I wonder if all moogles live so comfortably. Not Mog. He's clearly busting his butt to take care of me. The miasma stream. Oh, I need water element to get through. Okay. Right, you cannot uh, have Mog pull this one, I think. Also, yeah, the, these uh, streams take you out pretty quickly. You turn the page, you wash your hands. You turn the page, you wash your hands. You walk down the road, you turn the page, you wash your hands. The miasma stream. Many caravans have passed through, and now I will follow in their tracks. Someday, others will follow me. I feel like I've become a small part of history. Iron Mine Downs. The Mushroom Forest. Mars Pass. Let's... Uh, no! Don't go up there. Let's go to the Mushroom Forest. So I choose Multi. Okay. I was just making it so people could drop in and drop out. When I was a child, I once asked my mother, Where did I come from? She answered, Why? We all sprouted from the mushroom forest, of course. Nightmares soon haunted my sleep. That's right. We're all fungus people. Lost among the toadstools. Toadstools. I in tears, but felt the warmth of my mother's embrace as she comforted me. It is something I still remember to this day.
fungi forest. Fungi forest. Fungi. Fungi, fungi. I'm quite the fungi. Let's see how this works. Oh, I don't have Mog with me though. Also, I move when the uh, menu's open now. It's cool and all, but oh wait, I can't exit. How do how do I? Uh oh. Lobby ID. I guess it's nice that you could just drop in and drop out, but also, I don't want to actually do this. They really should give you a warning. Leave this lobby. Items found cannot be kept. That's fine. I don't think anyone would be joining right now anyway. Probably best to set that ahead of time. Bonus points. Open treasure chests. Immediately. There we go. Yeah. Oh, there's something down there. There's like a path upwards. Why they would drop that in single player. Oh, maybe for fusion later or something. Raise and Thunder. Fuse slow. Really? Slows an enemy's movement and spell casting. Well, there you go. So raise in an element is slow. Gravity actually hurts. Heavily damages certain targets and cripples flying foes. Okay.
cherry cluster. All right, uh, water, we already got that. Okay, that just brought us back to the beginning. Cool. Crystal ball, fire. Holy, unleashes divine light that forces undead foes to materialize. back. It's nice because you're guaranteed a drop from an enemy, so it makes it worth fighting them. Blizzard, clear. Clear! Targets, cleanses target of status ailments. So what can we fuse with that? Nothing. It's pretty useless on its own. They're pretty useful, useless with other elements, whatever. It's actually pretty decent on its own. Holy, wait. So it was before, because I had holy and then I had something else. Something else with rays. Wait, does it change depending on what's on the top and what's on the bottom? Yeah, it does. Because that's slow. Oh, that's interesting. I had no idea it worked like that. I want to see what all of them do. Nothing. Alright, I think all the elements are always the same. Strikes all enemies within range and shocks those vulnerable to lightning. Strike with a weapon to wake them. Thunder. 
That looks good. That looks like it hits a far... a wide berth. Stone of give this man a raise. Hire this man, Square Enix. Chunk of silver, green beret. Is that another water? Yeah. Element becomes more important later. Chunk. I don't know what the seeds do still. Material for crafting, design for stuff. Find gift for your family. Find gift for your family, and yet I couldn't attach them. Oh, it did give me another slot. I wonder if I could take another one, though. with the brown uh, barricades were at the bottom of the map, though. Bronze armor. Alright, this is gonna be the end after I beat this boss. That's the Marlboro. He's eating the stinky plants. damage.
think this does more though. It kind of does the same. Attacking it head on is probably better, honestly. I've been poisoned, shit. A question, what happens if I do this? If you use them in the gravity, I can't do it, I can't do like Graviga. Rhythm for these attacks are pretty hard to get used to. Shit! Well, that sucked. At least it takes you right back to the beginning of the fight. It keeps all keeps your settings the same way too. Very forgiving.
we need to figure out some way to kind of wreck him here. Must be weak to something. There we go. It's Blizzara. Or Blizzara, as they're saying. took us till uh, 3.20 in the morning to do it. It's full. One more to go, and this year is done. Though I am not doing another one tonight. It is too late now. New diary entry. Yes, yes, please, very much. At your service, Capo. Capo. What do you got for me, buddy? Here you go, Capo. How do you things reproduce? It's a letter from Zai's brother, Zebi Zebeja, Zebe Z Zebes, Planet Zebes, Zebegius. I'm sorry. Sorry, I should have been in the caravan instead of you, but if I left now, you know that our home would go under before village before the village does. How's the journey? Right back soon. Thanks, Sebegius. I am... Sebegius. I am well. It's rough. Uh... It's rough. Send an item. Here's a fruit seed. I'll say I'm well. There we go. I've got your reply, Capo. Why can't the male Moogle just do Come this on, if he could get to the end of the dungeon so quickly? Yeah, full marks. Yep, you can't choose the same artifact more than once. So I could get another one. Honestly, I should go with Earth Pendant, gain another heart. All that said, Sage's Staff, magic plus three. That's pretty good. It's probably a rarer item. I think it's also dependent on the character. I think making a new character makes it so they just don't- you don't have anything. Mushroom Forest. As I approach the Mushroom Forest, I somehow feel like I'm shrinking. Each toadstool I pass seems taller than the last. Now I want- now I know I'm inside the forests. I'm walking along a rooftop of mushrooms. Although a Marlboro blocked my path, I prevailed and collected a drop of myrrh. Murray Purry. 
Alright, I am not even going to check anything else. I am just gonna save and quit. Because, uh, I am tired. And it's late. I did it! I'll probably uh buy the DLC weapons too. But uh yeah, that was um that was an invite code. How's that work? Everyone's playing it. Everyone's playing it. Anyway, uh That'll be it. I will probably get the add-on data and I will do this more tomorrow. I'll probably do another story in a uh, Sonic Adventure, either big or gammas, then do this, and then I'll probably do that again on Friday, actually, with Smash. I'll do, like, the last story of uh, Sonic Adventure, and then uh, finish, uh, do some Smash afterwards, make some progress in Spirit Journey. Uh, but yeah, thank you for coming, guys. Always appreciate it. Y'all have a great evening, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night.